black people who think that they are the original indigenous people to this land. Can we stop? No, we will not stop. In fact, we're going to continue. In fact, how about throw a little bit of information at you at that? We're going to go to this book right here. These Indians are of a middling or rather short stature, and their color is of such a dark brown that it approaches black. This color is only very much to their filthy mode of living, to the power of the sun's rays, to their custom of smearing their bodies with mud and amber dust, and their slovenly way of wearing their scanty cover. Let's get to the real meat of this book real quick. Their lips are large, thick, and protruding. Their nose is broad, flat, and Negro-like. Their features in many respects resemble those of the Negro, and their color also. But their black hair, however, is in the highest degree different. Being long and straight, left to grow naturally, it will often hang down even below the hips, but they calmly cut it to the length of four to five inches when it sticks out like bristles. Now, what Native American you seen that got thick lips, a big nose, and look like a Negro? Neither one of them you see. None of these people today you see like that. But let me show you one that actually look like that. Because there's a lot of people in my family that has this so-called phenotype. You see how his hair sticking out? Long and straight like bristles. You see how his hair sticking out? Long and straight like bristles. And also thick nose, the thick lips, Negro-like, and also the other one. And even my hair, my hair is naturally like that. No product, no flat iron, none of that perm shit. That's just how my hair is. My hair always been straight when it grows out, and it sticks out like bristles, and it goes straight down. You know this how you know this how our hair is. But let me show you one more source, cause I got plenty. The New York Times, Saturday, December thirtieth, nineteen twenty-two, says Negroid group discovered America. Doctor Dixon startles scientists by asserting black types were among. Indians ancestors. Dr. Roland B. Dixon of Harvard said that a study of the earliest Indian schools indicated that some were descended from blacks or Negroids, others from uh, primitive Australian stock. You know, the blacks and Negro Australians, we literally other the same family, but science, mainstream scientists want to separate it for some reason, but I digress. And they also say others from whites resembling the Nordics and others from the Mongol, there go your Native Americans and Turkish strands, all of whom crossed the Bering Strait in prehistoric times. So you can stop this cap about black people not being in America and all this yada yada rah rah crap that you're stating because we got a renowned doctor, Dr. Renon B. Dixon. I got a whole bunch of anthropologists that talks about this. This is him right here. If you want to know anything about him, he studies this matter. A renowned professor from Harvard University even came out and stated this. But somehow, in some way, y'all don't want to acknowledge this. Could it be that most of y'all are agents? Because I got my records. As a matter of fact, just in case you want to throw salt, let me show you something. My grandmother, Matilda Brown, she's a... Native American tribe, Delaware, the Delaware Indians. And here's the Delaware Indian per capita payroll. And there go Matilda Brown right there. My grandfather, T.N. Coleman of the Muskegee Nation. Chalk tall by blood. I did my genealogy. I know who the hell I am. I got a lot more too. But I'm just letting you know, stay out of our business. Our business got nothing to do with you. Stay doing what you've been doing. Stay doing what you've been doing. This is our fight. This ain't your fight. Because if you want to fight on this behalf, you're on the wrong side. That's all I'm saying. Because we got a lot of stuff in the works with the government, with this uh, thing that's taking place right now. Okay? But just please stay out of this. It has nothing to do with you.